What's up, power fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another power video. Power Book 4 for Season 2 is set to premiere on 1st September. Then, Power Book 3 Raising Canaan is also set to premiere on December 1st, 2023. If you're ready, just drop some fire emojis in the comments right now, 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 now. In this video, I'll take you through the new characters that will be introduced in Power Book 4 Force, some details about their roles and what Tommy is set to do in this second season. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. My name is Nino. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share. Most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. I miss you guys a lot. Now let's get straight into the topics. Power Book 4 Force is not only bringing back familiar faces, but also introduces a fresh wave of cast members. The new faces joining the team are Kamela Zimbaro, who will be known as Maria Garcia, Tommy's possible love interest. She was also in Chicago PD. Then we have Manuel Eduardo Ramirez, who will be known as Miguel Garcia, who was also in Snowfall and Queen of the South, a possible threat to Tommy and Samson. Then we have Miriam Hyman as US Attorney Stacy Max. She was also in the Shy series. And finally, we have Adrian Walker, who will be known as Shanti Showstopper. She was also in Law and Order. All these people and many minor characters will be in the new season of Power Book 4 Force. Now let's understand some brief roles of these new characters before the show premieres on 1st September. Starting with Camela, like I stated early on, she will be playing the role of Miria Garcia. Miria is a smart lady, direct with a great sense of humor. She is strong-willed, guarded and not afraid to call you on your bad behavior. She is also the young sister of the most dangerous Mexican drug dealer in the city. Now, this drug dealer is Miguel. So Miguel is her elder brother. Now, from the snippet of the promos that we watch from stars on this season, some way, somehow, Miria will become Tommy's love interest. Now, we all know Tommy's love journey so far from Harley to Lakeisha to Gloria briefly. None of these women survived. Question I kept asking myself is, will Maria survive should Tommy give another chance to love? Now, the danger here is that her brother will kill Tommy if he finds out that they are together. But the safe side is that Maria will be under the protection of both her brother and Tommy as well. So when it comes to her safety, I believe she is more safer than the rest of Tommy's women. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think she will survive with Tommy? Or you think she'll also be another weak link to Tommy? Or you think she'll probably die as soon as she and Tommy start to fall in love and all those? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now moving to Hyman, she'll play the US attorney Stacy Max. Stacy is from Chicago Southside and first worked at the public defender before earning her way into the US attorney's office. She's an independent self-starter who is very young hungry and ready to make her name for herself. Just like how Angela was young and hungry and was keen on finding who goes to wars, Stacy is equally coming with the same energy of determination to catch the bad guys. Just like Blanca and Jenny in book 2, but we all saw how they ended up being played. So I believe Stacy will make some remarkable impact on the drug game in Chicago, but I believe the streets will once again win the forces. Now, if you study season 1, there hasn't been much of police involvement in the drug game. It was mostly between the gangs and the camps as Tommy is riding solo to find his feet in Chicago. So now that the different players have been established in season 1, I believe the police involvement will be much more in season 2 where we will see the conflicts, the betrayals and more enemies and so forth. So trust me, Stacy will be a problem for Tommy and Diamond but like I said, the streets will always win when it comes to power. The next person is Ramirez who will be playing Miguel Garcia. Now Miguel is a mean, violent and domineering alpha male character. He has never been in a long term relationship because he lives to make money but will do anything to protect his loved ones. This is why I stated early on that he'll be a problem to Tommy because of his sister. And I think the writers decided to use his sister as a point of conflict between him and Tommy to create a great tension between them. I don't know much about drug dealers, but the little I know is that most of these drug dealers who have fragile siblings are always protective of them against their competitors and enemies since they can be part of their weak links. And if I'm not wrong, a drug dealer hates a fellow drug dealer 
having a romantic relationship with any of their siblings or family members, especially if this family member is not part of the game. And from all indication, Maria doesn't look like she's in that life. If that is the case, then Tommy will not have it easy being around her at all. Next is Walker, who plays Shanti Showstopper. Shanti is a prized ex-professional boxer that runs her own gym now. She is fearless and ambitious, a dangerous combination. Now, let me know what you also think about these new characters, what you also expect to see from them in this season. Now, what are we to expect in this season? The season 2 of Power Book 4 Force follows Tommy, who embark on a mission to avenge Liliana's death and solidifies his dominance in Chicago drug world. If you remember, he promised Liliana to find whoever killed her, and I believe Tommy will find out that it was Claudia, but he might not be able to do what he intends to do because one thing Claudia has is what Tommy needs. Example is the doctor who was cooking the Dahlia drug. We all saw Claudia kidnapping her getting to the end of the season, so if Tommy still wants to own the Dahlia product, Killing Claudia for Liliana's revenge now will not be the best move since she's the only one who knows where the doctor is. Knowing Tommy on how he's loyal to his promises, he might eventually kill Claudia after getting full control over the drug game in Chicago. Now with the Flame organization weakened after the last episode of season 1, Tommy is more determined than ever to seize control in Chicago. However, navigating a divided CBI and maintaining an edge over Jenard will bring a lot of challenges to Tommy. Now, exploiting rivalries between the Sebs and Miguel, who are the city's formidable drug lords, Tommy will spark a chain of violence in his relentless pursuit of power as he races against time to stay ahead of the federal forces and Tommy will face a crucial decision, which is to sacrifice everything to claim the throne or reconcile with his blood family. Tommy, I believe, is ready for war this season and he will do anything to claim the throne as the most influential drug dealer in Chicago, just as we had Ghost aiming to be the biggest drug dealer in New York. So if you pay attention to the lines from Tommy in this season's trailer, he stated that, and I quote, you never get tired of being at the bottom of the top, what is standing in our way? So clearly, Tommy is here for war and on a mission to avenge the death of his former partner. Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Leave your thoughts, your theories, your expectations in the new season in the comment section and I'll be there to interact with you. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share. Most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching and I'm back.